Hi, I'm Andy the Northern Diver and in this episode we're going to be talking about first stage regulators. So I've lifted out three different types of regulators. The first one I've brought out is a warm water regulator on an A clamp fitting. Okay, we can tell that it's a warm water one because you can see into the main spring chamber at the bottom. This allows water to go into there and heat this regulator in order to the gas you're going to breathe slightly warmer. What it doesn't do is prevent any ice build up or any dirt getting in there, which will come onto on the other regulators. This A clamp is very much the old school sort of way and it's very popular sort of in North America, but the rest of the world has adopted um, the DIN fitting, which I'll show you on the others. As you can see, it's got a high pressure port on one side and on the other, and then it's got four low pressure ports for your regulator and your inflator hoses and whatnot. And it's also got a dust cover covering the bit that clamps over the cylinder around the pillar valve. Okay, the main difference between an A clamp and a DIN is A clamps only rated up to 230 bar. Whereas if you to look at the DIN fitting, so if you look at the DIN fitting, yeah, this one is stamped on here that it's rated up to 300 bar. So some people do have cylinders that can be charged up to as a working pressure 300 bar. So always keep the dust cover fitted in order to stop any ingress of crap going in there. So now you can see on the bottom of the seal, this prevents any water getting into the main spring chamber. It's designed to prevent an ice build up. So certainly a cold water regulator like this, for water is below 10 degrees centigrade, these are the kind of regulators you want to be using. Because as the movement of pressurized gas moves through here down the hoses into your, foot, into your second stages, this can become quite cool. And it can be so cool in cold water that ice can build up inside, which creates a free flow through your first stage regulator, which is not what you want. You want a controlled breath. So as you breathe in, this opens up and allows gas to come through as such. The main sort of difference between this one and that one is that one's got an environmental seal, one hasn't. So you can see into the spring chamber. And this one's got a 300 bar rated DIN fitting. This one's got a 230 bar rated A clamp or yoke fitting. So one up from that then, we've got the Apex DST. DS standing for dry sealed, T standing for turret. So there's a turret that moves on top, still environmentally sealed on the bottom, and it's got the DIN fitting on the back. Certainly for more technical setups, whether you be diving on a side mount or twin set, the turret comes into its own then, because it can be mounted horizontally, here, yeah, and it allows should any of these hoses need to be deployed for a second diver to be moved out from one position to another or if you're diving on side mount it just allows this plug to be removed a fifth port to be put in there so it's instead of having four ports it has a fifth one that comes out the top which allows then one of your inflation hoses or both on either side that is to be connected and it's just a much shorter hose as opposed to the long one that's featured on this setup here so the main things to think about are what kind of pressures are you going to be working to and do you want to be diving in cooler water. So if for instance you live out in the Caribbean, you've no need for an environmentally sealed regulator at all. It doesn't stop you using one, but you've no real need for one. Whereas if you're going to be diving in the waters of the UK, more sort of temperate climates where the chances are the water is going to be like it is now around 5 degrees, then you are certainly going to need a cold water regulator. What kind of fitting do you want? Well, for me, the better the better of the two is DIN. Firstly, it's rated up to 300 bar, although I don't use that pressure. It's a much better, stronger fitting, and it's relying on one O-ring to stay in place. So if you're diving on a yoke fitting, you need to fit a DIN adapter to the, uh, to the pillar valve of your cylinder in order for that to fit. Now, it's got one O-ring on this side and an O-ring on the other. And because this is being taken out every time you go for a fill, these can quickly become damaged, compressed, lost. So it, to me, that becomes a bit of a nightmare and a, a potential failure point. I've seen more of these fail once we're in the water than I have a DIN fitting. So all my regulators by this, by this old one that I don't use anymore, or perhaps do for some testing, are all on the DIN fitting now. And I think that's pretty much the way things are going. So I've basically covered some of the aspects of the first stage regulator, what kind of fitting it has, whether it be DIN or a yoke or a clamp, and whether it's environmentally sealed, which makes it a warm or a cold water regulator. 
I hope that's been of some use to you so you can go out and buy one that perhaps you think you'll get some longevity from. So if you've enjoyed what we're watching, you, you perhaps want to see some more stuff that we do, click this button here. Whereas if you go over to this side here, you can see the video from the Farn Islands that we always put on, and then last week's video will be up here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on Insta.